Operation guides for making the multiple pieces mold. Preparation work. Manually polish and smooth the model, and get the necessary tools ready. The performance of the model will directly affect the quality of the products duplicated by the mold. So firstly, please choose the perfect model. When fixing the product in the wooden pallet, do consider the size of the product and make sure whether the product is hollow or solid. A vacuum tank is not necessary for a hollow product. This video introduces the methods of making a clasp mold for a solid product. Stick the model to the vacuum tank. The vacuum tank should be larger than or equal to the size of the model. Then adhere them both to the wooden pallet, spacing 3 mm to the fringe of the wooden pallet. Choose the right party mold line. Normally, the mold can be made in two pieces and also can be mold pieces for complex products. Then it is better for us to draw the molded line on the model. Position the mold line on the top of the model when drawing and run around the face and eyes of the animal model as possible as you can. The fixed model on another flat wooden board, which should be perpendicular to the flat wooden board. Smooth the surface of the clam with your moistened fingers. Make some tenons about 6 to 8 cm away from the mud line, then two plaster tenons more were assigned.
the circles claim to form the approximate shaped plan. The original mod should be parallel up and below. the soap water to clean the model with a soft brush, then dry it with a near gun. Evenly brush the first layer of mixed sleeping rubber on the model. Normally, the first layer is brushed thinly to cover the model and the clay, so it should not be too thick. Brush the job slick rubber back to the model till the cross linking reaction. Vacuum pumping section. After brushing the first layer of mixed slick rubber, put the model into the vacuum container. De aired in strict accordance with the data performed on the manometer, then deflate and take out the model. Stop brushing and leave it to solidify itself when the cross-linking reaction works. Brush the second layer of silicon rubber till the first one is cured. Normally, the second layer should be 2 to 3 mm. It is a bit thicker than the first one. Cover rugules or cloths on it when the second cross-linking reaction goes on, and use a brush pen or a brush to avoid any interstices. Evenly brush the third layer of mixed silicon rubber on the gauze or cloth. Stop brushing when the silicon is covered the gauze or cloth so that the surface of the mold will be smooth. After the silicon rubber is cured, snip of the surplus cloth to make the mod beautiful. Make a square frame with four pieces of wooden balls or rubber plates. And make sure the wooden balls or rubber plates are fixed firmly, then ready to be poured plaster. Liquid plaster into the frame. Shave the plaster made out of mold with a scraper when the plaster is going to cool. Remove the clay after the plaster gets dried.
series of the original model and the finished silk mod with soap water, then dry it by a nail gun. For the complex shaped product, it is necessary to divide the whole mod into pieces so that the demoding operation can be difficulty free. Here take an antelope toy mod for example. You have to divide the part of its two cables and four legs into some certain pieces when making the mod. The empty spaces between the cables or around the four legs should be filled with clay. Do not need to brush too much silicone when brushing the first layer. It's subject to the cover of the original mold and clay. Take it to the air in the vacuum container in strict accordance with the data performed on the manometer. Then deflate and take out the model. Brush the second layer of silicone rubber till the first one is cured. Normally, the second layer it should be 2 to 3 mm. It is a bit thicker than the first one. Cover a gauze or cloth on it when the second cross-linking reaction goes on. And use a brush pen or a brush to avoid any interstices. Perform the following steps according to the procedure above. When the plaster dried, turn the mod over and pull off the external plaster mod. Peel off the silicone rubber mod. Put the first and the second peel of silicone mod together. The two silicone mods form a complete set of molds. The silicone rubber mod can be used in production after 24 hours. In line with the above procedure, you can make molds as many as you need.